prior to, to us getting involved with the, the program, Roger had said to me that uh, we need to go to Australia, we're going to do business there. We wanted to stay within the Ford world. Um, and really at that point in time, it was really FPR and DJR. The FPR guys were so much more established and honestly on the surface were, were much more like us. Um, whereas DJR, they were struggling to stay alive. And Dick, there's someone that's been an icon of the sport. Uh, you want to help that in some way, shape, or form and continue that tradition forward if you can. And when I'd come across the first time, I've dented up trash cans and, you know, rag shirts and that type of thing all over the car. And the transformation there, it was, it was a whole new place all of a sudden. You, you walk in the place now and it's, it's a really nice place to work. Uh, but it wasn't, it wasn't millions of dollars to get there. It was, it was again, just giving it a bit of a birthday. To be quite honest, from all the guys' point of view, you could see they're saying, why are we doing this? Even simple things like the, uh, the extension leads, they've got to be all black. The rags that they use, the cleaning rags, they're all a certain size and they're all white. They don't want to have a, a, a bag of grandma's undies and an old mate's shirt and things like that uh, cut up as, as a bag of rags. And it has made a difference, and all the guys now say, even though we didn't agree with it originally, but now it's the way we go. It went from being a supercars team to being a state-of-the-art, world-class workshop facility. And it really set the tone for how we operate, and it sets the tone for the presentation level that, uh, that, that you see filtered through everything that we do. If you can make it the idea of the staff to how do we get better, how do, we, how do we take things to the next level? And it's not just how things look, it's how things are organized. It's a process program. It's, it's how things are done you know, on an orderly basis to where when there is a problem, we stepped outside of a procedure or it can be defined what that is. It's not magic, it's, it's process. Because we're using that you know, flooring, we can put all their setup stuff in that our toolbox, yes. so we'll pump them to get these toolboxes ready. Yeah, no, I'm so planning to uh, get, I get that toolbox and the fuel drum yep. in that space, and then we can put a bit of rubber ship. Right. Uh, About 20% of the staff are still with us from when we were Dick Johnson racing back in 2014. But we've brought a lot of people along the way, along the journey with us as well. And what's really important for us is that we're able to evolve and, and, and certainly train up young blokes to get to uh, more senior positions. And that goes from mechanics through to engineers. How are you guys traveling? Uh, we're just doing our final patch now. Oh, and right. then um, just tighten everything up. Okay. When a driver gets in the car, for instance, if they get in the race car and they, they look around and things are lined up and things are equally spaced, it doesn't have to be that way but the good ones will notice. And that confidence then is instilled in, if that's right, if that's like that, the engine must be like that, the gearbox must be like that. And it's, it instills confidence in the driver. I'm trying to get his numbers, I was not happy with a few things, so that's still a couple of squeezes again, but yeah, I think we've got a base set now. Have you bumped steered yet? Not yet, no. Still got a bit to go then, yeah. We want to be an organisation that's really hard to get into, but even harder to leave. And the same goes really for every Penske company around the world.